Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> and welcome to Sunday Night is Organ Music Night. Slightly later than usual, we had some serious issues this evening before we had to start the call. You notice um, everything's looking a little different tonight. We have a different camera angle here. We have a slightly different camera angle up here. And we have a very different camera angle down there, but that's fine. That's the same GoPro as usual. I just changed the, uh, the position of it. If you listen carefully, you'll hear a little baby downstairs crying. Anyway, gosh. Uh, yes, it's um, one of the big cameras stopped working this afternoon, which was not very good at all. So we've had to change things around a little bit. Uh, rather worrying. And that brings me neatly to why we are so late tonight. It's absolutely bloody roasting up here in the organ room, uh, which is why I changed. I had, I had other images ready for tonight. So Sunday night is, what did I say? Sunday night is hot organ music night or hot music night. And then I had flames in the picture as well. It is absolutely roasting in here. After the Friday night concert, where it was pretty hellishly loud, uh, I went downstairs. I had to, <laughs> it was quite frightening. I had to remove every item of clothing I was wearing. Ooh, ah. Uh, I was soaked through. It was so hot up here on Friday night. When you think about it, we've got so much stuff. We've got the PC there. We've got the monitor here. We've got various things. We've got lighting, obviously. We've got cameras. We've got more monitors. We've got a NAS in the background. Um, more cameras. <clears throat> All these electronic things buzzing away. This thing beside me, the ATEM Mini. This is actually the. This is a heater, basically the ATEM Mini Extreme. Um, normally, you don't hear its fans running, but the last couple of weeks, the fans have been going crazy because it's just so blooming hot up here. So, ladies and gentlemen, a little message for you tonight. Anything. Anything that we get uh, via donations, tips, tickets, whatever tonight, anything we get at all is going towards buying a very environmentally friendly um, air conditioning device for up here. Because this, if it's going to stay like this this summer, last summer it was bad enough, but this summer's worse and it's early summer. So we're going to invest in an air conditioning machine, one of those little portable things that can sit in the room or in the doorway and blast cold air at me while I'm playing. We do have a fan, like a ventilator fan thing, but that's absolutely useless. It just moves the warm air, so forget it. So tonight, if you're feeling generous, the theme is keep Fraser cool. Okay, that's the theme for tonight. So cheers, everybody. Mm. Oh yes, now I promised I would keep an eye on these because it seems to be working. We found the problem with Friday night. And here we are, wonderful. We have a ticket already. Ah, here we are, perfect, so who did? We have got Stefan. Thank you very much, Stefan. Uh, who else have we got? Mirabilos. Thank you very much indeed, Mirabilos. And thank you very much, Alexander. There we are. That's a good start. So three before we even start. That's perfect. Thank you very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen. All of that is going to be put towards an environmentally unfriendly <coughs> climate control device for this part of the house. It's hell up here. Tr trust me. We started with a wonderful hymn there that I love playing. It's called Bewahre uns Gott, Behüte uns Gott. So look after us, keep an eye on us, please. And in this day and age, with the things that are going on in the world, I think that's a very good idea, don't you? So there we are. No such thing as environmentally friendly air conditioning units. Yes, Jeff, I was being sarcastic. Haha, -ha. I was being sarcastic. Um, yes, I drive around in an old car as well. Um, I, um, I have a car from the year 2001, and we have a car from the year 2000 and, what was it 19 or something like that? Was that right? 19? Something like that. So old, old by modern standards, and the only electric things about our cars are, uh, well, the lights, the ignition, <laughs> that kind of thing. They burn dead dinosaurs. So anyway, so yes. So uh, environmentally friendly, it may not be, but trust me. It will keep us happy and it will keep you happy too because we will continue to perform wonderful concerts without me sweating my... <clears throat> anyway, yes, anyway. Her name was Betty Swallox. No, sorry, anyway, that's a different story. That's a very different story indeed. <sighs> it's summertime, which means we get to play happy music and happy music means we get to play lovely hymns like this. This is one of my favorite ones, not my every favorite one. This is uh, one of those Ave Maria hymns and it's absolutely beautiful. It's number 527 in the hymn book and it goes something like this.
lovely, lovely hymn. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, wonderful organ, this. This is the organ in Duren again, as I'm sure our friend Pan Lomito from down, 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 an exciting part of the world. Thank you, Jakub. Jakub, thank you very much again. And thank you, Jan. That's very kind of you as well. Thank you very much indeed. A couple of extra little goodies there. I feel some coolness coming towards me already. Yeah. Uh, whew. Yes, that's a beautiful piece of music. Isn't that lovely? Last night, last night I was playing the organ in church, as usual, in Hirschbach. And after the service, uh, I went downstairs and I was chatting to someone downstairs in the, in the church. And we spotted, we spotted something in between the pews. And um, a pigeon had obviously been in the church, had obviously flown against a window and had died. And it was beautifully laid out just between the pews, this little dead pigeon. So um, we saved the dead pigeon, or I saved the dead pigeon, and... Um, took it outside and uh, gave it a, give it a decent little send-off. So yes, it would appear that the weather at the moment is, a, is attracting all sorts of terrible things around the place. Um, and a desiccated pigeon would appear to be the big thing in church at the moment. Who dis? Thank you, Stefan. Another Stefan. Thank you, Stefan. Very kind indeed. Ah, exciting stuff. Now, I have got an ice-cold tasty beverage this evening. This, this has actually been... I put the bottle of water in the freezer while we were having dinner this tonight, so it's absolutely ice-cold. Oh. oh, it's a wonderful feeling. It's absolutely lovely. It's crazy temperatures at the moment. I don't know what it's like in your part of the world, but today, in this part of the world, we have 32 degrees, which, for the beginning of June is a lot. Now, in the middle of, you know, in the height of summer, last year we were into the 40s here, which is crazy. We're talking centigrade here, yeah, degrees Celsius. We're not talking Fahrenheit. So that's, you know, 40s is like 110 or something crazy like that. That was last year. Now, last year's June was nice and warm as well, but this year it's considerably warmer. So does that mean we're going to be in for a record hot summer this year? It might well be, and if that's going to be the case, then whoo, this is going to be exciting. It's going to be exciting. There are three options. Number, option number one, no more live streams because it's too hot. Hitzefrei, that's what you would say in Germany. That's when you can't do anything because it's too hot. We don't want that. Option number two, I do them naked. That's not going to happen, so we can forget that. Or option number three, I need a cooling device. You know what to do. <laughs> Simple as that. Right, now we do have a couple of little interesting requests that came in. Um, I did spot them. I did spot them. However, I must quickly shout downstairs to Vanessa because I need something quickly. Right, I just wanted to double check. There's some information I am allowed to tell you and there's some information I'm not allowed to tell you. The information I am allowed to tell you is we have a birthday girl tonight in the audience. The information I am not allowed to tell you is how old our birthday girl is tonight. Suffice to say, she's a young spring chicken. However, we do know her name. Her name is Lannis. Hello, Lannis. Happy birthday to you. And Lannis is none other than Uncle Joe's sister. So technically, that means it's Auntie Lannis. So, so there you are. So happy birthday to you. And of course, we get to play happy birthday for you. And I've asked Brother Joe if there's a special request there we can play for you as well. So do let me know. Something jazzy would be good fun if there's anything out there. Oh, we can be, you know, we can do pretty much anything you want. So let's find out what comes in. Let's all sing happy birthday to Auntie Lannis then. Here we go. <laughs>
Happy birthday to you, young Lannis, and we hope you have a wonderful day, an absolutely wonderful day, so do enjoy it. Is little brother coming to see you at any point? He might, he might not. Exciting stuff. Thank you, Gabor. Gabor, what a wonderful name. Every time I see the name Gabor, I have to think of Zsa, Zsa but it's obviously not. Gabor is his first name, so there we are. Um, and also, thank you very much to Philip. Very kind indeed. Very kind. Thank you very much indeed. Wonderful. Now, yesterday, yesterday at church, we had some absolutely wonderful hymns. We have some requests coming up, but I'm just going to tell you. We had a very sort of creationist service yesterday, which was very nice indeed. And we had some absolutely beautiful pieces of music. One of them was actually quite fun, and it's actually an old children's hymn. Now, I only know this from the German book, but there might be an international version. If you recognize it, let us know in the chat. It's a rather fun piece of music. Du hast uns deine Welt geschenkt, den Himmel, die Erde. Du hast uns deine Welt geschenkt, Herr, wir danken dir. So, you gave us a gift of your wonderful world, the heavens and the earth. You, you, uh, you give us a gift of your world, we thank you, Lord. That's basically the translation. It's not a very good translation, is it? Sorry, my brain's, my brain's on. My brain's about to go into screensaver mode, I think. Ooh. But it's a great fun tune. If you know it, sing along. If you don't, learn it and sing along.
strange little piece of music. Yes, it does sound a bit like um, it does sound a bit like old MacDonald had the bomb, doesn't it? It's a bum 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 at the end there. It does sound a bit like that. But also, who can remember this one? And I bet not only Jez can remember this one. <laughs> else can remember that? My chat has done its thing again. I wonder what's wrong with it. It's very strange. Off you trot. No, I think I need to change from one back to the other. Who dat? Hello. Ooh, nobody. Oh, it's Gerald. Hello, Gerald. Oh, thank you very much. That looked almost anonymous for a moment. Very kind of you. Thank you. Yes, my chat has frozen again. This is most annoying. Why does it do that? Let's do that. Bye-bye. And let's go back and do that. And now suddenly it's working again. Makes no sense, does it? Makes absolutely no sense. Right. Off that goes. Now, the other night we played some music by Cole Porter. And a lot of people liked the music by Cole Porter. And um, I will later on this evening play some more Cole Porter. But I got a request, an email request from someone saying, can you play something by Hoagie Carmichael? Now, when you think of Hoagie Carmichael, a lot of people would think of um, Stardust, wouldn't they? Sort of... Stardust, that's his most famous number. Some people might think of New Orleans. Some people might think of his New Orleans, which is a very wonderful thing. Um, but not many people will know of his song simply called Jubilee. And this was actually requested because I used to play this many years ago. I used to play with a trumpeter together from time to time. Um, brilliant trumpeter, just horrendous person. But a brilliant trumpeter, wonderful jazz trumpeter, Lazy Bones Jeff. Nice one. I played Lazy Bones a couple of months back. That's right. Mm. Um, thanks, Jeff. Oh, and by the way, Jeff, thank you for your um, thank you for your virtual ticket that arrived through the week. Thank you very much indeed. Very kind. Anyway, uh, coleslaw porter and trans fats waller. Oh, good heavens. Yes. Well, how are you going? Hoagie Carmichael. Uh, see if you can get something about Hoagie Carmichael. Oh, Vanessa's here. Hello. Is Granny still here? Granny's gone. Granny was here this afternoon. And Granny's gone. It's too hot for Grannies. No, <laughs> if you could see what I could see. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Turn it round, Mrs. G. Turn it round. Wishing you were somehow here. Oh, that, that I don't know. Ooh, we have to find that. Okay, Vanessa's, Joe, Vanessa's trying to find it, but can't. And it's unfortunately nothing that springs to mind. Let me have a look and see if it's... Um, let's have a look. Hold on, Vanessa may have found something. <sighs> Hot, isn't it, up here? Oh, downstairs is much better, Vanessa saying. Oh. Yes, I'm sure it is. Heat rises. Do you like... Um, people, do you like the new camera positions? It's very subtle... It's very subtle, but we have a new position on this camera, the main camera. It's ever so slightly lower, I think, than normal. It's slightly different, and the camera pedal is slightly different as well. Is it better? The overhead one is just a different camera. Um, uh, when, when it dies, what page is that? Oh, it's from Andrew Lloyd Webber. Da, 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 dee, hmm. There are no bar numbers. I don't know if anything's missing there. There could be. There might not be. So I don't know. Hold on. Let's have a look. Da, dee. Da, 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 dee, da, 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 oh, that's difficult to tell. There might actually... Yeah, it looks odd. Oh, the words been there. No, we must say goodbye. No. Oh, that's good. Okay. Can you then print that off? Mm -hmm. And I will do the... I will get rid of all that. No, it looks okay. It looks okay. Okay, we're getting there. Thank you. Uh, oh, here we are. More tickets coming in. Thank you very much indeed. Who dis? Wolfgang. Thank you, Wolfgang. Thank you very much, Wolfgang. Very kind of you indeed. Ah, very good. I think we'll have to have a little break in the middle where I will have to change my shirt. Anyway, we're doing Hoagie Carmichael, weren't we? No, not in front of everyone on the camera. Vanessa says not in front of the camera. Is it not printing? Why is it not printing? 
Oh, it's printing. It's printing. The camera has moved, and Nancy asks, so "Is it a movie camera, Rodi?" I don't see Rodi. Oh, it's on a, on the different on the different. Rodi, thank you for your ticket as well. Rodi sends his tickets to a different PayPal account, the old one. That's the that's the business PayPal account. Uh, that that's all official. That, uh, what's happening here? Okay, the printer's doing funny things in the background. Ah, oh, God, Whew. I think we may have it. If it carries on like this until we get a, a, an air conditioning machine, I think we may do, we may do a live stream from the piano downstairs. Is it's just it's too hot up here for them. It's lower, and it looks more flat across the, the screen. And look, and the pedal. Look, look, look what I did to the pedal. Look. Okay. Even the printer's playing up. It's printing one page at a time, and then it's stopping to think about it, and then it's coming back with other things as well. Hi, yi, yi, exciting stuff. Anyway, right, I'm going to continue talking about Hoagie Carmichael and Jubilee, this, this piece of music I used to play. Um, and like I say, I used to play it with this brilliant musician, but not a very nice person. And um, over the years, we just stopped working together because he was unbearable. Um, but like I say, it's a shame because he was a wonderful trumpeter, a lovely trumpeter. Uh, I hope this is... Is this for Lannis? Joe, is this for Lannis? We're going we're gonna to say yes. Okay. So, okay, perfect. Yeah, you know. Ah, okay, perfect. It is for that. Right. Anyway, we're going to do Jubilee first of all. Oh, who dis? Another one. Thank you very much. Ian, thank you very much. A bag of ice. A bag of ice, yes. The bag of my, no smarties, says Vanessa. Andrew, thank you very much as well. Oh, Andrew, yes, thank you. I have your request here for later. Um, so that's exciting. Yes, anyway, right. And this wonderful piece of music, Jubilee. Now, the Jubilee was made famous by none other than Mr. <laughs> Mr. Louis Armstrong. I beg your pardon? <laughs> by Mr. Louis Armstrong. Remember Louis Armstrong? Wonderful guy. Wonderful world. And uh, Louis Armstrong made this one very famous. And it's a very, very cool piece of music with an amazing key change in the middle. Get ready for this. Jubilee from Hoagie Carmichael. <laughs>
Oh, yeah. Jubilee from Hoagie Carmichael. What I love about that is it starts in F major, and then you just have a little sort of... and then sort of mumbling from here. Okay, and then it goes from there to A major. Where the hell does it get to there? Film music, doesn't it? And then we do the same thing in A major. Then it goes up a semitone just to get you sort of. Uh, hello, minor. Or substitute. Back to the F major, the back to the tonic. And then we do something really weird. Expecting to take you to there. It doesn't do that, it takes you to the beginning. Ooh. Now it's time to finish off. It would normally finish there. But Hogi Carmichael extends the end by four bars. By six. Sorry, by six bars. <gasps> Crazy. Crazy. Wonderful piece of music. Check it out. Jubilee from Hoagie Carmichael. Right, Andrew Lloyd Webber. Lyrics by Charles Hart. Additional lyrics by Richard Still Not Dead. Sorry, Richard Still Go. I can't, who was that? If my sister's watching, maybe she'll remember. There was a comedy program. They didn't call him Richard Still Go. They called him Richard Still Not Dead. Um, anyway, ooh, who dis? Jerry, thank you very much, Jerry. And who dis? Nancy, thank you very much, Nancy. Who was that? We got, yes, we got that. Good. Oh, wonderful. Thank you very much indeed. Very kind of you both. Thank you. Oh, to add to the goodies, I might be able to buy a bag of ice now and just melt it all over myself. No, that's weird. All right, now let's make sure that this is actually correct here. I hope this is right because um, the printer was doing some weird stuff. I just need to make sure that the words... Yeah, that looks good. The words look good. So let's make sure this is actually correct. This is a piece of music. I don't know where it's from. Wishing you were someday, uh, somehow, sorry, here again. Wishing you were somehow here again. And uh, Uncle Joe asked for this for his sister, for his big sister, Auntie Lannis, whose birthday it is today. So uh, very happy to play this for you. It says Christine. So I think Christine, is that not Phantom of the Opera? Is that Phantom of the Opera? I don't know. I don't do Andrew Lloyd Webber, I'm afraid. I just, I'm sorry, I can't bring myself to it. Anyway. Always eager to please. Here is wishing you were somehow here again.
some Andrew Lloyd Webber there, wishing you were somehow here again. I see from the chat, it would appear that maybe we were having a bit of interesting things going on during the, the chat. I don't see it happening here myself. I'm keeping an eye on things. I've got my monitor running in the background, telling me what's going on. It looks like it's okay. It looks like it's running absolutely fine. Uh, Alex is saying the router is overheating. I doubt that will be the case. Alex, buffering, not just you. The stream froze. Who said that? Camera, Tim.com. Yeah, sorry about that. Julian, thank you very much for your little tip tonight as well. Buffering, just froze a bit back now. Yeah, that's weird. We've never had that before. It could be an overheating issue. Could be. On Friday, we had some serious internet issues. The internet was in and, uh, in and out and on and off all day. And I was using my mobile phone to help um, boost the stream. I'm not doing that tonight because I'm using my mobile phone as one of the cameras tonight. Um, hmm. Hmm. But the, song, the, the, the signal is very strong. It's doing what it's doing. Vanessa? Gab es problem beim Stream gerade von der Qualität? Hast du auch nicht gesehen? Okay, good. All right, Vanessa didn't notice it either. Vanessa didn't notice it either. It was the school series, please, sir, says Jez. Da -da 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 -da. That's correct, Jez, you're quite right. Right, tasty beverage is lukewarm, so excuse, oh God, oh no, oh no, oh damn it. Because I'm using the mobile phone, the, the stand <laughs> for this camera is right above my head. It's literally sort of, um, that much above my head. Um, it's about an octave above my head. <laughs> right, hold on. I'm going to go and get my top-up tasty beverage before I die in a corner here. Ah. This, this looks very decadent, doesn't it, drinking fancy Italian sparkly water here, but at the moment it's all we can get around here, so it's weird. Supply, the supply chain in Germany is a disaster at the moment. It really is. So anyway, so I've mixed that with my usual splash of lime cordial. Mmm, tasty, tasty. And ooh, can I get that down there safely? Yes. And um, it's in, oh, it's nice and cold. It's freezing cold. Oh, perfect. Ah, all right. John Castle stops there too. All right. So yeah, obviously it's an international stop. Obviously something at this end. But like I said, the stream is working fine. I'm recording the stream to an external um, uh, drive, so I'll check it back. I'll check back through it. That was during Andrew Lloyd Webber, so I know where that happened. So let's, let's see if it did that, and I will keep doing that before. Right, now then, let's to the world of modern technology, and that's this machine here. Oh, for heaven's sake, get over there. And we have, let's hope it came through. We have, yes, it did. Look at this. Right, now... Um, Oh, hold on. I have a feeling we may have to turn this go this way. Does my winking and blinking, oh, it does. It works horizontally as well. Perfect. Andrew, our friend Andrew requested a wonderful piece of music here by Mr. Mendelssohn. He requested a march by Mendelssohn. Now, when you say march and Mendelssohn, everyone usually assumes you mean. <laughs> Um, this is another one, and I think this is rather cool. I've never played this before, and I found the music in something called the... What was it called? Hold on. It's quite... A March Album for the Organ. This is one of these ancient sort of Victorian uh, books. So it's got the Triumphal March from the Fifth Symphony. It's got Chopin's Funeral March. It's got Costa's Triumphal March from Naaman, whatever that is. Guno, oh, Guno, Funeral March of a Marionette. We all know that, don't we? Funeral March of a Marionette. Ooh, I'm going to look at that. Oh, I didn't know I had that. That's good. Guillemot Marche Religieuse. Oh, that's good. That's this. Which is a march based on a theme by Handel, also march from the occasional oratorio. Oh, brilliant. Let's play that as well. Actually, we had a request from Mirabilos for something by Handel, so let's do that. I think it's the one I play anyone. Jensen, wedding march from the wedding music. Lachner, celebrated march. Lemons, triumphal march. 
Mendelssohn, the march we're about to play, another Mendelssohn, oh, the wedding march from Midsummer Night's Dream, there you go, and so on and so on and so on. There's lots of goodies in there. Schubert's military march, oh, wonderful. <laughs> I like this book, I just dug it out of the internet for this one piece, and look, it's all in here. <gasps> Exciting! Right, ladies and gentlemen, let's play this. It's called The War March of the Priests, which I think is a hilarious title. It's from his work Athalie. Uh, I've no idea what Athalie was all about, but just the idea. Picture that in your mind. It's something, it's, it's not even Eddie Izzard could picture this. A War March of the Priests. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's see what we can do with this. Now, what we need, we need some special effects for this. So how am I going to do this? I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, actually, I suppose I could cheat. Yes, shall I cheat, ladies and gentlemen? Because I need this. I need my big shamad, but I don't... I obviously don't need it down there. Sounds pretty good. And then I've got that for the solo wee bit. I need to remember, don't change register. Oh, sugar, I have to change registration still. <gasps> right, stop. What we have to do then is we have to save some registrations. Right, spontaneous, spontaneous. Save as. Oh, where's my keyboard? Miles away. <laughs> Miles away. What shall we say? War March. Oops, War March, just call it that for now, and we can play around with it later. Right, let's pop that keyboard, oh, oh no, what's happened here? <gasps> my, uh, my cables have wrapped themselves around something. Uh, so much for my magnificent order. Right, uh, if I clean, oh, no, hold on, I can't do that. I have to save this in all different places, don't I? Well, let's actually, hold on, let's do this properly. Let's save it down here and I'm guessing in the middle of this piece there's going to be a quiet bit yes there is right well let's do a registration for the quiet bit off you go you naughty thing um, actually let's keep that let's have all of that and all of that I suppose we can add that get rid of that would that work it's too much man it's too much man So let's save that on there. That looks pretty good. And then I suppose we go back to the loud. S oh no, actually we don't. We can crescendo. Let's crescendo. Let's add some goodies. <laughs> let's crescendo. Because I've got my. Yeah, I've got that there. That's pretty good. Okay. Mm, let's crescendo a little more. Let's add. Mm -hmm. Let's add that. And then we need to go back to that. And then we need the works. So let's just do that. Let's just do that. That'll do, That'll do that. And that will take us to the end. Perfect. Right. Very spontaneous. Let's do it then. The War March of the Priests from Athali for our good friend, Andrew.
are. I love it. 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 War March of the Priests from the magnificent Mr. Uh, Mr. Mendelssohn. Sorry, I have to change this again because all my chat, my chat has stopped once again. And stop once again. What a wonderful piece of... Ah, Jack Barnard has joined us in the chat. Jack, thank you very much for joining us in the chat. Lovely to see you. We haven't seen Jack in the chat before, have we? I don't think so, at least. So, Jack, thank you very much. And thank you also for being such a kind supporter over the years. A silent supporter in the background. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, indeed. What a wonderful piece, Mr. P. I love it. We can have some more of that, definitely. Now, let's see if I've missed out on any tickers on the way past. I'm sure I have. Maybe not, actually. Who was the last one? The last one was... Oh, yes, hold on. We have another one here. Uh, Julian. Did I say thank you to... Yes, I said thank you, Julian, already. So there we are. So thank you. Thank you, thank you. Very kind of you indeed. Ah, wonderful stuff. What a wonderful piece of music. Mendelssohn and his march. Actually, I was going to play some more marches there, wasn't I? It's going to be spontaneous. You have some more marches. Where's my marching music? There it is. Uh, right, what's next? Let's have a dig through this book. I love spontaneous stuff. Oh, it is actually. It's the march I always play. However, this is a different variation of it. It's a different arrangement. <gasps> different arrangement. Mirabilos wanted something by Handel or Handel. So let's play this. This is the march from the occasional oratorio. Now, I play this quite regularly, but this is a different version. This is arranged by W.T. Best, who was one of the best arrangers of organ music for things like these, for things like... Um, things like... Um, what do you call them? Town hall concerts. The kind of things that the Scott brothers do. Uh, Jonathan Scott was playing his wonderful sort of town hall style concerts. I think it's wonderful that these are coming back into fashion and I'm very glad that someone like Jonathan is doing it. He's a splendid organist and uh, having wonderful, wonderful, wonderful um, of resonance in the YouTube world with the work as well. I think it's wonderful. His brother Tom doing all the technical stuff behind, who is also a spectacularly good piano player. The two of them play duets on a regular basis. If you don't, I'm sure you do, but if you don't know the Scott brothers, go and check them out. They're absolutely wonderful. Mm. And, um, and this is the kind of thing that Jonathan would play, and he would probably play this arrangement as well. At least I hope he would. So let's, um, let's bash up the organ again. There we are. Let's have full organ. Um, hold on. No, stop. Let's not. Let's, let's go back here. Uh, off you drop. Uh, let's go back here. Let's have big registrations, but not silly registrations. There we are. That's good. Right. Let's see what this sounds like in this arrangement. Like I say, I play a different arrangement, but let's see what this one is like. a lot more meaty than the version I know. Good heavens, huge chords. I love it though. I love it when things are like that, jumping around as well. Mr. Um, W.T. Best was a fantastic organist and um, great fun indeed. Gosh, that's cheery music. The Funeral March by Chopin. 
And we're not going to do that. What's this? Franz Lachner. Nope, don't want any of that. Some cool stuff in this book, I um, thinks. Hmm. There's a couple of things I've never even heard of, which I must investigate. What the hell is that? Swedish wedding, wedding march. A Swedish wedding march. Right. Any Swedish people out there getting married, do let me know and I'll play you a Swedish march for fun. This I rather love. Let's see if we can play around with this. Um, actually, oh, good heavens, this is a WT best as well. This is not for sight reading, I don't think. Shall we try for fun? You might recognize it. I won't say any more than that.
that was a sight reading fun. Ooh, <sighs> that was good fun. Oh, I like I like sight reading. Sight reading is great fun. Keeps your mind active, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen. As if my mind needed keeping active. Right, any more goodies in the last couple of minutes? Oh yes, we do. Who's this? Andrew again. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And, hold on, there was someone else there, I think. I can't see these because they come in sort of double. Who is this? Is that Andrew again? Is that two Andrews? Andrew one, Andrew two, is that correct? That says Andrew, and that also says Andrew. Oh, thank you. Two from Andrew, thank you very much indeed. Who dis? That was Julian. We got Julian before. Oh, exciting stuff. Well, ladies and gentlemen, who thirsty and hot work this. I hope you don't mind. Oh my goodness me. Oh gosh. Oh, here's Vanessa again. Hello. I beg your pardon? Hold on. Ooh, right, we've got some pieces coming in here. Oh, I see, that's exciting. What's this then? More? Oh my goodness, what is that? No, I just couldn't find it. <laughs> uh, all right, good, right, that's fine. Hold on a sec. Yes, right, that's that, and that's this. Right, we're getting towards the end, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> Vanessa is coming up with more goodies here. Now, we had, we had a very nice, is the microphone, no, it's not low, it's just off <laughs> when, I'm not, when I'm not speaking. It's not low, it's just off. Um, it's off, it's worn off. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Um, I can't remember. Oh yes, we had a very special request for a very special music, but it's so special I'm actually going to play it as a separate video. Um, this is a piece of music I played a few months ago. We played it for um, a very special member of the Gautreaux Gang, for Kristin Platt. And Kristin asked for this piece to be played again, and I'm not going to play it during the live concert. I'm going to do a separate video for it because, it's, because it, it deserves it. It's a lovely piece of music and I want to sort of play around with it for quite a long time, if you know what I mean. So rather than sort of do a 15 minute sort of improvisation on this piece here, I'm gonna do a special one for you. So uh, get ready for that, that's coming up through the week. I also have a rather interesting video coming up through the week, uh, all in the pipeline, all already recorded and edited and ready to go. Even, it's even been uploaded, I just have to make it public. But that's coming uh, probably tomorrow. Um, a wonderful, wonderful version at least I think it's wonderful, because I did it. <laughs> I'm so modest, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry. So it's the heat. It's the heat. Getting a bit sweaty up here. Um, 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 a piece of music by Beethoven, um, given a rather interesting twist. So that will be coming up, I think, tomorrow. And then uh, we'll get Kristin's little request up through the week as well, because it's such a beautiful, beautiful piece of music. Right. Anyway, back to the goodies from the other night. We had, um, we were doing music by Cole Porter, remember? And I was telling you stories about Cole Porter. And um, there's a sort of a theme running through all of Cole Porter's music. And it's basically a theme of sort of cheeky naughtiness. Um, the kind of thing you're not allowed to get away with in this day and age, because... <laughs> because it's no longer politically correct to do these things. But back in the 20s and 30s, it was perfectly normal for someone like Cole Porter to say, right, I'm going to write you a tune that you can sing during one of my melodies. But for that, I want favours. And um, in those days, it worked. And if you were as wealthy as Cole Porter, Cole Porter was 
phenomenally wealthy, even before he started his music career. Uh, he came from very wealthy Argentinian stock, as they would say. And um, he didn't need the money. He just did this for fun, uh, writing all this wonderful music. And he was so good at it. He made, absolutely, he made millions doing it. He was one of the richest around, having great fun doing it. Anyway, a rather naughty man um, and uh, got up to all sorts of nonsense. Um, I told you a member of my family knew um, Cole Porter and uh, she said he wasn't fussy. Animal, vegetable or mineral, he'd have it all. So, so, um, so yeah, there you are. That was, that was Cole Porter. But he wrote such beautiful music, such as this. I've got you under my skin. Ooh, naughty, naughty.
I have got to you under my skin. Naughty, naughty, naughty. I played some of those the other day. Um, when I... No, oh, I did play that one, didn't I? Sorry, yes. Oh, I, did I do that one as well? No, I didn't do that. Did I do that one? Didn't do this one. <laughs> didn't do this one. Have to do this one. Um, remember, I occasionally tell you my anecdotes of my jazz days, and we would have fun with titles, changing words to make them either rude or just plain funny, at least in our mind. And uh, the ones we would come up with were silly things like taking the word love and changing it to lunch. Um, and with some of Cole Porter's music, you could have great fun, especially with this one. What is this thing called lunch? What key is this in? It's in a sort of a C major E minor -y thing. Uh, if you analyze a lot of Cole Porter's music, he was dead into his sort of major and then sort of minor, major, minor, and also. Lots of, it's very clever playing around with majors and minors. That was his thing. Um, what is this thing called lunch? What did you have for lunch today, everybody? What did we have for lunch today? Did we have anything for lunch at all today? I can't remember. I think it was so hot. We didn't have lunch. We missed it. We skipped it. I had some gummy bears in the afternoon, so that was on to sort of speed things up again. <laughs>
great. What is this thing called love? A ticket. Oh, a nice ticket from Dominic. Thank you very much, Dominic. Ah, yes. Very kind, of Dominic. Thank you very much. Did we get everybody else's? Hold on, there are more in here. We got that. We got... Oh, Ian. Did I, did I mention Ian's? Yes, I did. A bag of ice. Hmm. Thank you very much indeed. Wonderful. Thank you. Very kind. Who did? Did I get that? Yes, those were Andrews. Good. Getting everything so far. Now, we had a rather wonderful and interesting request earlier from our friend Jez. And this is rather cool, actually. Um, let's see if we can get this one in. This is something you would not normally expect to hear on an organ, but it works. I'm sure it will work, actually, rather nicely. Now, why is it? Ah, it is working now. My winky blinky wasn't working for, for some reason before. Now, what we need here, we need some warm and naughty sounding. Oh. That's quite nice, I suppose. That's even nicer. Well, oh, that's even better. Right, let's use those. All right. A chap called Justin Hayward. I'm willing to bet not many, of you out, not many of you out there know who Justin Hayward is. Still around. Um, and um, that was, that's fine. You don't need to know who Justin Hayward is. But you will probably recognize some of his music. He was in a band called The Moody Blues. A great band, actually. Um, in a chat not that long ago, we were talking about sort of great British music of the 60s, 70s, and so on and so on. And we were talking about Roy Wood and, well, Roy Wood and Jeff Lynne, who were in The Move, and then there was ELO, and uh, all sorts of goodies there. And Jez came up with the idea, what about the Moody Blues? Nobody talks about the Moody Blues these days. And that's true. We tend not to talk about the Moody Blues these days. I don't know why. So let's have some fun with nights in white satin. And with these temperatures we've got at the moment, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Some nights in white satin. Let's find out what we can do with this. Let's play around. See what it sounds like on an organ.
Oh, what a wonderful piece of music. Isn't that great? You can get carried away with that, as you may have noticed. Uh, oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Jez. That is a brilliant one. I love it. I love it. I love it. What I do love about that kind of music is that it's the simplicity of all. It basically, it doesn't do anything. It's got a, C, a, a chords just sort of... That, that, that note stays and the chord moves. It's moved down one, but the note stays. Isn't that cool? And then it sort of goes down again. And then modulates. And then a nice little sort of... And then. Remember we were talking about modes recently? What mode is that? You can work out what mode that is. You know what Knights in White Saturn was written around. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. What a wonderful suggestion. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's gone midnight and I am absolutely steaming and not in the Dean Martin sense of the word. Um, Cam, earlier this, <laughs> earlier this evening, Cam said to me privately, he said, yes, you look like a steamed lobster. I thought, that's very kind of you. Thank you. But yes, it's true. It is. I am a steamed, I feel like a steamed lobster, actually. Just as long as someone doesn't drive a knife through my head and twist it, that's what I don't particularly want. But yeah, wonderful stuff. I think, ladies and gentlemen, we will finish off this evening with a piece of, with actually theatre organ music, but it sounds amazing on a theatre organ. And this was, this was uh, played by, I'm not sure who composed it, I think he composed it himself under a pen name, um, performed by a guy called Sidney Torch on an old theatre organ a long time ago. Any more tickets arrived? Oh yes, and we have another ticket. Who dis? Who dis? That was Jez. Thank you, Jez. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Oh, by the way, yes, nights in white satin. It's nights as in evenings, late night. Not nights as in armour and swords on horses. Not that kind of night. <laughs> nights as in... Nights in white satin. It basically means white satin sheets in a bed and all the things you get up to. Mm. Anyway, never mind. <laughs> Sydney Torch, a wonderful guy who looked... Oh, hold on, here's Vanessa. Yes. 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 Talk. Vanessa just came upstairs and said, you do look like a steamed lobster. That's nice, isn't it? Cam actually went very nicely. It was quite beautiful. Cam said, oh, Cam said, it doesn't look for quality. You can make maybe it looks right, but Cam can make I get a look. <laughs> a look? Who am I getting a look from? Yes, um, Cam suggested to Vanessa she should bring me a, a, a damp cloth, a wet cloth. And, well, where is it then? You didn't bring me a wet cloth. <laughs> She didn't bring me a damp cloth. You know, her, her answer there was, well, you're almost finished. You can come down and get one. Well, that's fine, isn't it? Your boobs arrived. I said, oh, my God, what? Cauliflower ice cream? I think not. There's Uncle Collie over there. Really? Yeah, I hope not. My sister was in the chat tonight. Hello, my little sister. What was my sister saying in the chat tonight? Not a lot. You were there. That's nice that you were there. My sister, everybody. Laura. If Laura's back in the chat, then say hello to Laura, everybody. My, li my little sister. When I say little, she's bigger than me. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, but never mind. There we are. What were we doing? What was I doing? I can't even remember. Hot. That's the one. Go away, woman. <laughs> She's, she's standing there and she's, she's, she's talking about knights in white satin. She's standing there not wearing a lot of clothes. And she put me off. Go away. Don't do that, you naughty girl. She's, she's all sort of legs and skin and things. It's amazing. Uh, trust me, the heat is not doing me any good either. Anyway, right, where were we? Yes, hot music. We're going to finish off with a hot... Hot tune. It's called Hot Dog, and it was played by Sydney. It was played by Sydney Todd, and it's a wonderful piece of music. Here we go. Hot Dog. <laughs> 